What's up guys, Ankle Spangin here, and today we are playing as Swain in the mid lane. And I have decided that Swain would be a great champion to play for you guys real fast because with the um, changes in Season 6, Swain actually received quite a few indirect buffs because the Deathfire Keystone Mastery helps DOT champions very heavily as well as the big Rod of Ages buff actually helps Swain tremendously. So, two fantastic items, uh, or two fantastic things to go with Swain, who is already a very strong champion in general. So, he should be very powerful right now. Um, and he is, and he is. He and uh, Mundo, Mundo is also a very powerful champion right now. Uh, actually, just a lot of champions really strong right now. But I decided that today... I was feeling like uh, bringing everybody along to the, or, you know, giving everybody a one-way ticket to take the pain lane on the Swain train. So, we are going to be doing that today. Looks like we probably will be against a Twisted Fate. Go ahead and nudge myself on up there. He is running the Deathfire Touch as well, which is kind of interesting on Twisted Fate. A lot of Twisted Fates run Thunderlord's Decree or Storm Raider's Surge because um, it actually is... Honestly, I think it would be better on Twisted Fate, you know, personally. Obviously, that's just like my opinion, man, but um, I could definitely see it being better for sure. So, going into this lane, Twisted Fate, um, <clears throat> generally a decent laner against quite a few champions. Swain, also a very good laner, though, against quite a few champions. His passive makes it very easy for him to sustain quite a lot, and also... Uh, just the general poke he can lay down can be pretty strong. So, we should be able to just farm up, get our catalyst, and go from there. That is the general plan we'll be going with, and we'll just work it that way. So, if you guys don't know much about Swain, Swain does base most of his damage off of damage over time. The only thing that is not a damage over time spell is his never move, which is his W. Um, other than that, his E, his torment is a damage over time that amplifies the damage of all of his other abilities and we will not land the never move on him but we'll still obviously get that point and click dps with the torment and then his q is the decrepify which places a laser bird on your target and slows them dealing damage over time while that tether is active so go ahead and just dodge on these cards here we will actually nail swain with that the yellow card coming out this could actually be kind of a... Nope, never mind. I was going to say, it could be a bad trade for me because I got stunned in quite a few minions, but it ended up being just fine. So we'll go ahead and get a point in our or a point in our queue here so we have all of our abilities. Basically, if I land another W on, Swain, or on this Twisted Fate, he's dead. So let's see if he goes up for that minion. He did not. And the plan right there was to you know annihilate him if he went for that minion, which we tried to do, but it didn't really matter. So either way, no matter how I look at it, if I land another W on this Twisted Fate with his current amount of health, especially since he's not using his potions either, I can flash on him, ignite him, and we can kill him. So, if you were in this Twisted Fate's shoes right now, guys, what would you do? You would be using your potions is what you would be doing. So let's go ahead and just drop that there. Go ahead and drop the W, or the Q, and the E. Let's go ahead and throw the ignite on him. That's going to be fun. Bam! Flash the auto attack. Get the first blood. Easy all in. Just knowing that after Twisted Fate's abilities, he ain't going to do shit to us. So easy kill for the 1v1. Going to be coming out for us. And we will be able to get our catalyst on this first back. Now that we got that first blood gold. And we are going to get as many of these minions as we can. Oh, not that one though. So... Go ahead and use our abilities on that guy. Get that Siege Minion. And after I finish pushing this out, we should be good. Whoops. Not going to get that. And whoocha. So let's go ahead and go back. 29 CS to 17. Twisted Fate will not miss all of these, but he should miss at least a couple of them. And that is the whole plan. Grab this Catalyst. We'll go ahead and grab ourselves a Pink Ward, I think. And we'll grab one more HP Potion. And get our... Just scooch our booches back to mid. So he is going to come back with that second Doran's Ring and Boots. Now... The thing is here, on these backs, Twisted Fate will have more damage than me, but I have a lot more life, more mana, and a lot more sustain than Twisted Fate. So, we will be at the advantage here, plus, neither of us have summoner spells, so that is also very good. And we can time him, uh, we don't even need to, you know, consciously time his summoner spells this time either, because they will be up about the same time mine are. So let's go ahead and just see here, whoa, big miss, 
big miss. Let's go ahead and just drop our abilities off on him, though. That'll be some good damage. Akali is coming in, so I'm just going to run at him here. Wait, my Akali's level 4? What the heck? All right, going to go ahead and slow him down here. Vi, not going to land that, but it's not going to matter. Another kill coming down. Very, very good job by my teammates just taking advantage of this poor little Swain's you know, or not poor little swing. Poor little twist of fate's little gaping butthole now that I've torn it apart. So let's go ahead and just leave our birdman mode on and push out this wave. So, boop, gonna get all of those. And possibly, I'm actually gonna run down. As Vi dies to the Crimson Rafters. So I'm actually gonna run down bottom right now. This is actually going to be a good time for me to do this. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get a kill, but. Because of Jinx's position in the lane right now, I can definitely just charge in, do quite a lot of damage to her. Let's go ahead and throw this right there. That's going to definitely be quite a lot of damage going off onto her. There's one kill going down. And let's go ahead and dip out of this bird form. Go ahead and slow her down. I'm not going to be able to kill her, but we can do a lot of damage to uh, the Soraka for sure. So an easy kill going down there. Looks like Rek'Sai is here, but will be met with a misfortune. So not really the one he wanted to see there. He wanted to have me one-on-one, -on -one, but he will not get the pleasure. So let's go ahead and just W this. I am going to try and push this a little bit with this misfortune, because since I did kill the Jinx, she needs to push it as hard as she can. And now I'm just going to go back and grab a Blasting Wand. So we should be able to, yep, get the Blasting Wand, get our boots. And as you guys saw, I did make use of that pink ward, dropping it in the bush as I was making my roam down bot lane. So we control all three kills for our team right now. Getting that shutdown on Jinx will be very good for us. And after we get our Rod of Ages, that'll be even better. The earlier you get that, the better off you'll be. Because it'll stack further and further up to the 10 stack limit um, earlier in the game. And now that Vi is 6, her ganks will be much more powerful. Akali is actually struggling in that top lane a little bit. But hopefully, she should be okay as this game goes on. We'll see though. We will see. So or this Twisted Fate is level 6. And we do... Since we have this Blasting Wand now, I can go ahead and just do stuff like that. And get a bunch of damage off on him. Basically for no... Re like, with nothing in return on his part. Unless I'm just going to walk into, you know, things like that. Let's go ahead and just keep running at him though. I can apply a lot of pressure in this lane now with the advantage I've established. So... If he goes for anything, he's going to die, and he is dead. So let's go ahead and drop the dots, drop the E, drop everything. He is very dead right there. So an easy kill for us. Twisted Fate actually going to also use his Ignite. So both of our Ignites will be up at the same time again, as well as our Flash will still be off cooldown around the same time. So very, very good once again. Putting me at 4-0. Oh, Rek'Sai is top. Oh, Kennen making the dive happen. Akali will not be able to get it. So, good job by the enemy team. Even though I shouldn't really be complimenting them. It looks like a gank went rather sour down bot lane as well. So, this game, as much as I hate to say it, it is 100% on us right now. Um, so, there's not really... There's not really any beating around the bush here. We are... We are 100% of this game at the moment. 4 0 0, then we have 0 3 0 2 0 2 0 3. Damn. So, we'll definitely have to put the team on the back, see if we can get the rest of our allies back into this game. And if we cannot do that, it's going to definitely be a very, very rough game. So, I'm, gonna, I'm ideally going to be able to get another kill off on the Twisted Fate here in a second. Looks like Akali and Vi are going after the. Rek'Sai, who was over by our blue, um, but apparently not taking it, so that's good for me. And let's see, so Twisted Fate is doing the right thing here. He is CSing from about as far away as he can be, and let's just keep running at him, trying to get these Decrepifies up here. Looks like he will be coming in, and I'm not sure exactly, you know, what that guy was thinking. Wait, never mind. I should have just flashed out. I really didn't think they would do as much damage to me as they did. My dang entirely. Um, <laughs> they did a lot more than I thought they were going to, so that was totally my fault. Um, there's just nothing else to say there. Obviously, I had my flash. I should have just flashed out after they were going for it. I was kind of waiting for Kenan to, like, E towards me to flash out, but he never did. He just kind of sat there and out of me. And, well, I have gone down. 
Anyways, got our, pay, or, uh, got our Rod of Ages. Our pink has been cleared sometime. I didn't even notice that. So I am available to buy another one, but I'm not sure if I'm going to. I should try and do something bottom, but it's very iffy because our bot lane is very, very weak. Looks like... Good lord, please don't tell me she's going for a mortal reminder rush. That would basically be one of the worst things she could do. So if Vi can get the ultimate off here, just... Just... Vi? 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 <laughs> what? Her ultimate was coming back up. She really just needed to walk in there. So the issue is, this is warded. So obviously they're going to know I'm here. So... There's not really anything I can do. I could try and brute force it, but I don't think that's a good idea with a 6 and 1 Jinx. I'm just going to run back mid. If Vi just all Twisted Fate when I get back there, it'll be pretty much a free kill, but I don't think she's going to. So let's see here. Drop that. Miss, because I'm the worst. And let's just go ahead and see here. Can I at least get the E off? I just want I just want to poke him a little bit. I just want to poke him. And they are getting massacred. All right, this is... This is looking rough. This is looking very, very rough. So, with Vine not pulling the trigger there after Jinx used her flash, that actually really made my roam a waste of time. I should have been more aggressive with my pings or something and really tried to enforce I wanted to go in. But let's go ahead and just all in this Twisted Fate. He is going to go down very easily right there. No issue whatsoever. And maybe Akali can fight the Kennen with the Vi. They will! And that will take me off of 100% of the team's kills. So good job, teammates. Let's go ahead and just do a bunch of damage to this Rek'Sai here. Not really going to massacre him, but definitely taking quite a lot of his HP bar away. So that is very good for us and very bad for him. So very, very good team. And let's keep this going. I think I'm going to level up my Decrepify again. It looks like bot lane is probably coming towards me. They are correct. Thank you, Misfortune, for the pings. I was not paying attention. But they could also just be going for the dragon. They aren't even coming up here anyways. But I do still need to be careful even, you know, without the bot lane coming. Because Twisted Fate can ult and just pop up behind me. And Rek'Sai can jump me with Twisted Fate's stun card active. So, a lot that I need to just keep in mind with their team. They have a lot of uh, pressure all over the place. With Rek'Sai having her ultimate as a global. Uh, Twisted Fate having his ultimate, which is kind of close to global. And that should be quite a lot of damage going off on Twisted Fate just with, just with my E there. And let's see. It's, there's no way he's actually going to try and just dive me. Um, so, <laughs> not really going to bother flashing from anything there. And we should be good. So, Cannon actually went straight for a... Straight for a Blade of the Ruin King, so not a... I don't... I, I want to say it's not a huge surprise, but it's kind of a pretty big surprise. So let's just see if we can get these. There's no way we can contest that dra... or could have contested that dragon. So it'd be better just for us to do what we can on uh, the other minions here. So let's see if we can just amass as many monies as possible. So actually... If Kennen tries to all-in me, he's going to lose. But he has a Rek'Sai there to back him up as well. So that's one thing that I need to keep in mind. Let's go ahead and get that Decrepify off there. Taking some damage myself. Not going to be good, but... Ooh. Good stun. <laughs> I'll be the first to admit it. He got me with that one. So let's see. With our ultimate, I should be able to sustain a little bit uh, without too much use of my mana. Unless Jinx is just going to be ridiculously aggressive just like that. Which I guess she totally can be without uh, much remorse so well, that's one way to clear a wave so I actually should back off here can't defend the tower um, due to the fact that I'm basically the only one able to do anything about any of it and I'm getting very low if Jinx were to auto me like one more time and then alt chances are Xander would have to alt me just to keep me alive so we're not going to push our luck with that Twisted Fate going down bot lane and with Ken in there she can't really fight but uh, that'll be the flash. There's Twisted Fate's flash. And maybe it's probably... Boom! She's going to stand still right for the Super Mega Death Rocket. We'll get murderized by it. So let's see if we can find this Twisted Fate. A uh, free kill. And he's going down. That's an easy kill. No need to use anything else. And with my Ignite up in 10 seconds, I think I can just super all in 
the um, Jinx. But Kennen, on the other hand, is quite the... He, he's... He adds a variable to this situation that I'm not sure I'm quite comfortable with encountering yet. So we'll just keep on doing what we can and keep on farming, get all these minions, and I think we'll go back, grab our Sorcerer's Shoes real fast so we can do quite a lot more damage and hopefully be able to do more here. So 131, 132, 041, 042, and then 6 1 and 0. So we'll definitely keep our heads held up high. Because Swain is very good at very hard carrying games until other people get relevant. And with our team, with Akali, it's kind of a matter of time before she scales. Vi is actually running a very, very bad build for her position in this game. If you're losing, you should not be going damage. Um, go tank if you're losing so you can be useful, basically. Misfortune's build is something else. I'm... <laughs> Not exactly sure what I can truly say about that. Um, she ran, like, I guess it makes a little sense to go straight for Executioner's Calling against Soraka, but I still don't think I agree with it. Uh, 100, I'm, I'm not on board here yet. So let's just go ahead and all in this guy. He's gonna try and all in us, and let's go ahead and flash out of the Super Mega Death Rocket. My Ignite will take the kill on his face with a Xander Ultimate coming out on me. They thought they could just all in me, but I got a different story for them. I'm going to go ahead and pop out of Birdman mode, throw the W right there just to stave them off a little bit, keep Vi safe, and that will at least be Kennen going down, even though I did have to use my Ignite, and that is actually what sealed the deal because my Ignite stopped the Soraka from healing as much. So, very good stuff there, and I do need to keep in mind that Kennen is the only one that has Ignite on their team, so he's the only one I really need to be worried about when it comes to the all in -ing. So let's see here, maybe that's not going to get me, but uh, yeah, with their team, I'm just going to sit here, sustain up some more, and keep on being careful. Xander, in a very volatile location at the moment, but he will be able to just walk out, they will not pull the trigger on him. It looks like Rek'Sai is top with a Kali right now. I will be giving some Soraka heals right there. And Vi with her ultimate. I really feel like we should try and go in sometime, but maybe possibly wait for Lulu's ult. Either way, just going to keep on sitting here, getting as much health back as I can. It looks like Vi is not going to do it again. And it's okay this time because, you know, it's very risky regardless. And let's see, the never move not going to connect on anyone. And this is exactly why it was risky for Vi to pull the trigger there. If she did, she was going to dive into quite a few of them and very, pretty much inevitably die. So let's go ahead and just get a bunch of poke off onto that Soraka. Just using our E and our Q and an auto attack will be lowering her health by quite a lot. So there goes the flash out of Jinx just by throwing my never move under her feet. And this should be boop. Maybe I can get a little bit more. And actually, man, I'm taking a lot of damage. So let's go ahead and just, well, sidestep this. Miss Fortune gonna come on the side there. And no bullet time, so never mind. I thought she was gonna drop the bullet time, but I guess not. And let's go get our Seeker's Arm Guard here and get some HP back from the base. So we are that much closer to our Zonias. And Zonias is very good on Swain, by the way. Because when you're in your Zonias, your birds actually still deal damage and heal you. So it's very good for him. And this Sakali is very dead. That was... Not a good choice on her part to try and do anything there. But let's see if we can do something here. Not going to be able to get him. Now let's go ahead and just do as much damage as we can here. There's the ultimate from all of them. And maybe... Oh, golly. All right. And I don't know if I'm going to... Yeah. I'm going to make it out. But we still got quite a lot of damage off on them in the first place. I think... You know, I don't think it was obviously good. But I think that could have gone a lot worse. I really do. So let's go ahead and just drop. Oh, that's going to be a kill off on Soraka. No doubt. Assault and Battery coming in. And now we are just doing as much as we can. The heal coming out the... F Get fucked, me. Get fucked. Jane's going to launch the auto attack maneuver over the wall. And that will most definitely just wreck us. So Jinx is the scary one. I have to kill her. Um, and while Vi did do good on getting the Soraka, Jinx is way more priority. The issue is with the Soraka... They have so much protection for her, and there is so little we can truly do. I can try and all in her really hard when the Soraka's not there, but even that is really iffy. So, we'll just have to keep 
keep farming, get, keep getting as much money as we can, and keep trying to just search for openings in their armor, search for the chinks in the chains, because we have to we have to play a game of picks right now to get back into it. Basically, if we can kill Jinx, we'll be in much better position. If we can't kill Jinx, or if we can't at least you know hold her off in corral her somehow, she is going to go ape shit on everything and just murder us. So that is, you know, exactly what we need to avoid. But for now, let's just see if we can get this mid turret. Shouldn't be much of an issue whatsoever. Let's go ahead and throw the never move down right there just to zone him off. Turret gonna go down. So good job us. Let's go ahead and just avoid the wild cards there and keep on what we're doing. So I know Kenan cannot 1v1 me. Um, Banner of Command actually gonna come out, come out though and that's really good against me because I cannot be the one to stop that Banner of Command. Um, I can kill all the minions around the Banner of Command but I cannot deal magic damage to this minion. So I have to just sit here, auto attack it down. It looks like Akali is trying to handle the cannon right now. And Akali's build is definitely not that great. She needs a gun blade. Um, regardless of whether she's doing poorly or fantastic, gun blade is just too good uh, of an item in general. Especially right now, it's just way too good. So let's see if she's going to run over there. There's no way I can land and never move on her. So I'm not even going to try. Misfortune still massively weak. 0-5-1. Oh, Man, I am trying so hard just to think of like what possibilities there are this game. And there is just not that many. <clears throat> oh god, she's another one of those people that has the Soraka mastery. How much do you have to hate yourself to play that? No, like just that much Soraka. Man, that's okay. That is A-OK. -okay. To each his own, as the saying goes. Oh, let's go ahead and get those mains. I can go get my Zonias real fast, too. So they, I doubt they'll be going for Baron. Even if they were, we would have seen them on this. So it'll be good to have that warded. But at least we can get the Zonias. That'll give us that active. Next up, I think I might actually go for a Spirit Visage to negate some magic damage from their team. Also give me increased healing and CDR. And some more HP. Or... I might just go straight for, um, you know, like a Rabidons, so I can do as much damage as possible. Maybe get a Rylize even. That's also a very good choice on, uh, on Swain. So it looks like the Twisted Fate Ultimate coming out. Not sure exactly what he planned on doing with this one. He is definitely going to go down. I really hope Vi does not use her ultimate here. Never mind. So maybe we can do this. And I think... Oh, that's what we needed. That's definitely going to be a kill going off on her. And I'm just going to stop this chase right now. Go right after this guy. Because he has split off from his group. And he is easy pickings. So a double kill going down for us there. And let's just see... Did he just miss that word? Nice. Nice. But it's looking like they could... This could still be a fight we want. I still have my Zonias. I still have a lot of mana. And it's looking like this guy is actually doing as much as he can in a very bad spot. So I'm just going to sit here, keep on my ultimate, keep on the flash right here. That'll be a kill off on Soraka. Just use all of my abilities right here. If he comes back in on me, I still have my Zonias. So we'll go ahead and drop that just to make sure Kenan doesn't do anything too crazy. And Akali should be able to catch up to this guy. Never mind, the frozen mallet is there. Akali, dash to the minion. Dash to the minion. There it is. Will she find Kenan? There it is. Come on, Akali. I have so much faith in you. And oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right, this is all you, Akali. This is all you. Oh my god. Oh my god. She's going to get turned on. All right, maybe. Come on. Come on, you're definitely in range. Please. Yeah, there's the shutdown. Good job, Akali. Picking it up. And that fight is something we desperately needed. Getting so much power under my own belt as well. Just strutting my stuff. And basically, if Vi just uses her ultimate on Jinx, we'll be good. So we'll actually we'll, we'll communicate that. Vi just always try to get an ult off on Jinx. So definitely good to communicate that um, things like that are very, very important to know. Because um, if she plans on doing anything else, it's honestly probably not a very good idea. 
Um, as silly as it sounds, doing anything else with our ultimate, unless it's just a perfect catch. Obviously, there are so many exceptions to anything you ever say in League of Legends. But, if she can get the Jinx, we need to get the Jinx. Because she is the backbone of their team. This, whatever this is, is not going to carry a game. So I'm not afraid of Kennen at all, um, currently. <clears throat> where Jinx is in a position to destroy us. And they could very easily be going for the Baron right now. There's not much we can say with how we're positioned, but they're not. So that is fortunate for us. I'm going to go ahead and throw my ward down there. They were just over here, so the ward has expired there. Let's go ahead and see. Whoa, this is definitely not good for Rek'Sai. That's definitely going to be a kill there. And maybe we can go in on this. That's going to be a lot of damage. Nizonias, please! Not going to be getting the Zonias off as I am or, uh, CC'd in there, and Vi going to be doing nothing. <laughs> Basically, without me, we cannot fight, because now, yeah, the team's just going to get massacred. This is definitely Baron, so no chance there. Um, and as you guys saw right there with Vi's damage build, they're not going to be able to get anything. It looks like they're, really, they're not going to go for this Baron? Okay, so they'll get the inhibitor instead, which, I mean, it's still a good choice, but Baron definitely would have been much, much better for them right there. But that's okay. I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. I'm not going to be the one to sit here and complain. Um, actually, they might still just go for it. They sh probably can brute force this. Um, I can try and stop them, but I'm not sure what I can realistically do. So let me just run up here, see if I can stall them as much as I can. And maybe we can... Woo! Oh, maybe. Eh, eh. Maybe, maybe. Whoop! Let's drop this. Zonia's right there, and they did that Baron really fast. So I'm fucked. So I thought I would be able to at least stall it a little bit. Um, because I thought I was going to attract the attention of Jinx. Guess not, though. Guess not, though. So... Man, this game is getting very, very, very iffy for us. But we will keep trying, keep holding our heads up high, because anything can happen in a game of League of Legends. I've definitely come back from much uh, much more dire situations, but we're going to have to play off of their mistakes as opposed to making plays of our own. Because us making plays right now is so ridiculously unlikely. It's just... It's next to undoable um, with the position of our team. Like, three of our teammates don't even have completed boots, so that uh, that should say enough on its own. Um, so I need to get my Rabadons. I need to get my Rhyla. I think I'm definitely going to go for a Rhylize after Rabadons. That would be, I think that would be the best choice here. So, nice never move. Going to miss every single minion there, but I think... I truthfully think this is the best thing we can do right now. As long as people don't get caught, we have no choice but to sit here and try and defend. So they're definitely going to try and go for the picks. Uh-oh, that's not good. But looks like bullet time coming in. And maybe I can go for something here. Let's go ahead and just do as much damage as we can to this Jinx. That will not be the kill going off on her. Maybe? Nope, definitely not. Yeah. Sadly, there's nothing we can do. That really should have been a much better fight. Actually, I was out of position myself by being over here. So, my own mistake. I don't want to say that cost us the game, because I really don't think it did. But, I was out of position by not being in the fight from the get-go when they were actually very hardcore split up. So, you know, what you're going to do, it happens. You can't win every game, of course. But we still try our best. Still got an A+. 10, 5, and 3. Not a bad score. We probably did a shit ton of damage, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Lots of damage. <laughs> so, it's okay, though. We tried our best. And, if you guys did still enjoy this video, do make sure you leave a like and a favorite. It really does help me out. If you want to, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Twitch. All three links will be in the description below. And as always, I love you guys. You'll be a wonderful day. Peace!